Right, okay. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, we've got an absolutely wonderful uh, night lined up for you. We've got some absolutely wonderful speakers, all distinguished. So let's, let me tell you a little bit about the event and why, why we're doing this. This is the, the, the freedom of... The, sorry, it's the Power Personal Freedom event. Okay. And, um, you know, there's freedom of thought, and there's, there's all sorts of freedom. You can interpret it in many different ways. You know, and, and what our speakers are going to do tonight, they're going to speak about the power of personal freedom. You know, and I've listened to some of their stuff, and I found it very inspirational. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to hand you over to Toby, who's going to say a little more. OK, thanks. Hi. Good evening. Thanks for coming along. Great to see you. Um, as Eric said, um, this evening is all about the power of personal freedom, and we've got a lineup of excellent speakers for you. And um, if you feel the urge to Twitter, well, you can. There's a hashtag, it's BBC POPF, Power of Personal Freedom. If you fancy tweeting and letting the world know what's going on. Um, and um, yeah, so Eric and I put on this event, um, we did our previous event, which was called um, How to Be Successful, where we had uh, Levi Roots, uh, Ralph, who's joining us again today, uh, Michael McGrath, who was the first disabled man to go to both the North and the South Poles, and uh, Kath Temple, who's a happiness and success psychologist. So really, this event is a continuation of, of, of what we did a couple of months ago. So um, our first speaker um, is Rico Griffiths Tate. Uh, he's going to give an overview uh, of our previous event, just, um, just to recap and kind of recall some of the, the key things we said. So Rico, welcome to the stage. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing? We're doing OK. My name is Rico, and I'm a leadership speaker and synergy specialist. Synergy specialist? What's that? Well, I'll tell you. What I do is um, I reconnect or reintroduce people to their own personal freedom, their own personal power, and their intel. And they can use this intel to forge ahead to achieve desired state. But we'll get into all of that later. But since tonight's soiree, is entitled Freedom. I sat down and thought about the word freedom and what freedom means to me. And earlier, I was introduced, amongst other things, as an etymologist. And in etymology, what we do is we look at the study of the origins of words, how they're formed, how they're created, constructed, which has become your modern day vernacular and mode of communication. And in thinking about the word freedom, I thought about another word. I thought about the word inspiration, which just so happened to be the subject of the last talk they had here. And during that talk, we had speakers like Ralph Blundell, who you'll see later. We had Kath Temple, Michael McGrath, Tundi Banjoki, and the reggae reggae source man himself, Levi Roots. Yes, he was here. I like the word inspiration. Because the meaning of it is in the word, inspiration, in spirit, spirit coming from the Latin vernacular of breath, to breathe internally. Like the word information, the forming in of light, that was the original meaning of the word information. And people, that's what you are. You are beings of light. Between your thought processes and your synapses, you are pure energy and light. And you can use that light and refract it to be whatever you want to be and see whatever it is you want to see. It was Mahatma Gandhi that said, we must be the change we want to see in the world. Huh? We must be the change we want to see in the world. Poignant words from a poignant master. People, I come from a long line of preachers and teachers. I do. I do. I do. And I'll never forget 
that uh, my uncle Leroy, who's in the audience this evening, he told me that his father, my grandfather, was a master of ceremonies. Hmm? Master of ceremonies. And when he wasn't doing that kind of thing on stage, because he was kind of like a speaker of his time, he could be found at home sitting with my grandmother, just watching TV, or playing the lottery of that time period. My grandfather said to my uncle Leroy one day, he said, you want to know why I didn't become a rich man? And my uncle said, why? My granddad replied, because I didn't focus on being rich. I didn't choose to focus on being rich. And I think about that, ladies and gentlemen. I think about what my granddad could have become had he applied himself a little bit more, if he had seen things a little bit different, if he stretched himself a little bit further, or had the opportunities of today. What else could he have become? Because you see, I'm privileged to have a very powerful granddad who was a very, very powerful man. And the truth of it is, there was no stopping a man like that. But when my granddad spoke, look out. Because my granddad's voice had power and majesty, and it was resounding in its brilliance. But when my granddad spoke, you listened. And I guess it was my grandfather, if I'm really honest with myself, I guess it was my grandfather that inspired me to be the kind of man I am today. And it was because of him who handed me the baton to become the kind of speaker that I aspire to be. I've been studying human behavior for about 10, 15 years. And I guess, if I'm honest with myself, I think the intel that I have, I think about the exposure that I've had to, to what I know, is my freedom. It's freed me. And I think about the choices that we make as people, as human beings. I think about whenever I have a problem, <coughs> how can I look at that problem differently? Does it look different from another angle? How can I get over that problem? How can I get around it or through it or consume it till it no longer becomes a problem, till it becomes nothing? So I think about those problems. If I have a problem, I think about how can I get around it and how can I can consume it till it no longer becomes a problem. But literally, Albert Einstein said this. Albert Einstein said, a problem cannot be solved by the same level of thinking that created it, the same level of consciousness that created it. And I want you to think about that for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, when you leave here tonight. In fact, start thinking about that now. Because if you focus on your desires, rid yourself of old habits, expand upon your goals and visions, entertain that you are determined to aim for options you crave and motivate change, ladies and gentlemen, you can have freedom. Thank you very much. But before I go, so you're not getting rid of me that easily and I ain't ready to leave. Before I go, I want to leave you with a quote from the great prophet Brown, who said, oh, I'm sorry, you know him as James Brown, <laughs> but I prefer to refer to him as the great prophet, James Brown, who said, I don't want nobody to give me nothing. Open up the door, and I'll get it myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been Rico Griffiths Tate, and you have been fantastic. Thank you very much. Hit it! If you feel like moving, do so. This isn't a motivational talk, this is a celebration of life. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. Brilliant. Well, that was a, an excellent opening. Thanks, Rico.